don't go to university. I'm going to give you the quick reasons why you shouldn't go to university. So listen up closely. Disclaimer, don't let money be too much of a hindrance. Yes, I understand the amount, the cost and the, the rise and all the other factors. I understand how it's a problem. But if you've really got the passion, if you've really got the energy, if you really believe and you do your research and your degree can really help you in the future or if you believe this stuff getting a degree entails is going to help you a lot down the line then get the degree for all you know getting the degree might be the difference between you and in 10 20 30 000 pounds more whether it's through the education whether it's through the knowledge whatever so if you have the passion if you really want to go to university don't let money be the reason you don't go in my opinion, you should not go to university if you fit in one of these two scenarios. Scenario number one, you have absolutely zero will, zero desire for education. And I mean that literally. If you think higher education is going to be detrimental to you in the sense that you have no will, you have no desire, you, don't, you have no motivation, you don't see the point in it. If you think that going to uni for you is a complete waste of time, then it probably is. As Burner Boy said, I can't come and kill myself. Let's be real. If if you know that it ain't it, you ain't feeling uni, don't waste your time. Don't waste the money. Don't waste your health on it. Scenario number two under why you shouldn't go to university. If you have a set plan on what you want to do, on what you're going to do for the next two to three years, and it's a progressive plan then I agree, don't go to university. This could be starting a business, traveling, I don't even know, doing an apprenticeship, whatever. If you know you've got steps, plans for you to progress in whatever you wanna do, then cool. Don't go to university, go do whatever you had planned. Give yourself two to three years to execute whatever plan, whatever idea you wanna execute, whether it's music, whether it's football, whatever. Give yourself at least two to three years, commit to it properly. If you commit to that, if, if you if you know and you believe you're going to commit to that process, then I think you don't have to go to university. For me, if you don't fit into one of those two clear categories, either you have zero will, desire or motivation to go to uni, or if you don't have a set plan, then you should consider going to university. And how you consider, go watch my other two videos I posted on this. Fam, I almost didn't go back to school. I did my first year in America and then I took a gap year. And in that gap year is when I figured out some stuff. And I remember telling my mum, my mum, my mum and my family, we had bare arguments about me and uni and America. That's all another topic. But we had bare arguments on that. And I remember telling my mum at one point, mum, if after this gap year, if I do not go back to America, I'm not going to university in England. I wasn't on it. And why is because during that gap year, I saw some things, I figured out some things that I believed I want to do and I could find success in and uni was just not a part of it. And I told my mum that and at that point she was just tired of me, I can't even lie. She was like, son, you're a grown man, do what you want at this stage. So me, I can really talk from both sides of the fence because I almost didn't go back to uni, but now that I went back to uni and I've just seen the positives of going to uni, I see both sides. But if you're 50-50, if you're on the edge, then I'm, I'm more pushing you towards go to uni because at least uni is giving you something to progress and uni is giving you uni allows you to be productive and get something that can help you whilst you still figure out things me personally if you're not going to go to uni i'm a believer in make sure you're working hard and when i say working hard i don't necessarily mean slaving yourself at a retail job or a nine to five i mean work hard in finding what you want to do that may mean you have five six seven different jobs in a year that may mean you're going to try a lot of stuff and fail that's fine but I'm a big believer in if you've got a plan, execute your plan, go for it. If you haven't got your plan, go and explore. At the end of the day, I'm all for just doing something. That's all it is. That's what it comes down to. I'm just all for doing something. So if you don't go to uni, that's fine. But make sure you're doing something which you can progress in. Don't work a retail job for three, four years. You're not progressing. Then from 18 to 23, you hit a midlife or a quarter life crisis. And you're like, whoa. I was meant I've I've been working at flipping top shop for so long. Where's my life going now? No. In that time we're young, take this time to research what you you want to do. Do personality tests out? No. Research what you want to do, research what you think you would like, and be proactive and just try go out there and 
make it happen. I do not think university is the be all end all. We've seen plenty of successful people not go to university and make it. But also we've seen plenty of successful people go to university and make it. At the end of the day, it's whatever you want it to be. My one tip is in whatever you do, just be proactive. Go out there and try to figure things out. You feel me? The world is ours. The world is yours. We can all do it. Just we got to be proactive in it. So yeah, man, don't go to university. One, if you have no will or desire to go to university. Or two, you've got a set plan of this is what you're going to do as a result of not going to university. Peace, love. We're putting Hackney on the map. We're making Hackney global. Bird game.